King Charles had guests in stitches as he showed off his dance moves at a glitzy reception at St. James' Palace with a star-studded guest list to celebrate the Commonwealth diaspora. The event comes ahead of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Samoa, attended by 300 notable guests, celebrated the Commonwealth's rich diversity and the enormous contributions of its diaspora communities to the United Kingdom and beyond. Accompanied by the Duchess of Edinburgh and the Duke of Kent, they greeted prominent members of the Commonwealth diaspora, including actress Kate Blanchett, iconic singer Grace Jones, acclaimed dancer Moshe Gitsi Mabuse Wozniak, Samoan rugby player Theodore McFarland, soprano Isabella Moore, and New Zealand musician Neil Finn. The event highlighted the cultural achievements of the Commonwealth diaspora and the shared values and unity of the Commonwealth nations. The King and Queen, alongside members of the royal family, took the opportunity to meet with high commissioners and representatives from various Commonwealth-associated organizations. Supporters of the King's Trust International and the British Asian Trust, both of which operate extensively within the Commonwealth, were present to further reinforce the important work these charities are doing under the King's leadership. These organizations, founded by His Majesty during his time as Prince of Wales, continue to play a crucial role in supporting young people and communities in the Commonwealth. Queen Camilla also brought attention to her own initiatives, including the WOW Foundation, which focuses on promoting women and girls, and the Queen's Reading Room, launched in 2021, which aims to nurture a love for reading and literacy across the Commonwealth. The King, as head of the Commonwealth since his accession in 2022, has continued to talk about the importance of this global family of nations, which spans one-third of the world's population. He highlighted the extraordinary potential of the Commonwealth's youth, noting that 1.5 billion of the Commonwealth's citizens are under the age of 30. The monarch has also consistently expressed his belief that this youth population is central to the future prosperity and innovation of the Commonwealth.